Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chicago old ball in the building. What's going on, man? Got a special guest today. Yeah, waiting for him to come in the building. My guy, rapper slash actor Tom Giss. And people don't know, he got basketball history. Yes, my guy played high school ball, and he was nice. Played against him in Manhattanville. Yeah, here we go, y'all, my brother. <laughs> What's good, man? One, one, two. Yeah, you you know, say, well, this is not like, a, oh, okay, you know, this is like me speaking to my brother, man. So, you know, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been, man? Yeah, first, yeah, yeah. First... I be knowing. Good. Good, bro. Working hard, trying, you know what I'm saying? White women and pork over here, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, we yeah. Safe, safe. I just want to say before we start, man, just oh. appreciate the love and support. Like I said, man, I knew this brother him my whole life. And people don't know he has a Absolutely. basketball history. Super, super duper, man. First off, congratulations yeah. to you. Yeah. Had to come and support the platform. You know what I mean? I know where we're from. I know yeah. what you could yeah. be doing, so I'm glad you're doing this. Uh, it's about supporting each other. And you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't know the history. Like, we go back, what, 35 oh, man, years? I don't even know. Like, that, nigga? like, super day one. It's only right we, we come together and talk our shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas you know, they hit me, they hit me rap. They see me acting, but a lot of people don't know about the basketball history. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw you doing the basketball page, I'm like, oh, nah, this is dope. And I got to chop it up with you. I got I got an idea yeah, for yeah, a sure, second. You know what I'm saying? To kind, of is, kind of crazy. You know what I mean? I'm trying to bring light to the people that, you know, the the, the audience don't really have no idea. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of people that really mm -hmm. love the game, that talk about the game that was nice. And so we always just highlight the people we see and the people mm -hmm. we know. Nah, it's Man, it's it's a whole wave of people that, hey man, if if, if we had the the right opportunities and you know had the knowledge, man, listen, we may be where these other guys be at. You know what I'm saying? And this is and this and this I'm trying to tell. We're gonna put together a yeah, project exactly. to get those people a voice. You know what I'm saying? It going because Harlem, I mean, just Harlem alone, the history of the ballers and, and you know what I'm saying everybody has certain circumstances on why they didn't make it why they did make it you know what I mean but it's a lot of us that should at least leech. went to you school tell you? at least you know what I mean because we you know and and I remember um to the game almost changed my life when when um Come when on, Kareem Reed dude. played against JaVale and Young World Game, the game was so crazy. It got dark, and niggas used the the light from the camp. Yeah, um, somebody was somebody uh, source, reported that God game. Their grandfather. Well, oh, he got. Oh, he recorded. Mr. Oh, Keys bro, was recording that all the Young World games since they started. Remember, it started with the spray paint on the shirts. Yo, yeah, the spray you paint. So, the you spray just brought paint, up a name, My dude, how crazy was your? Javal, the bro, Javal should have been for the Knicks in '92, my nigga. <laughs> period. Like, period. bro, let me tell you something. You know, when when Val got shot, he was down for a minute. But I was at Riverside, bro. Val came to practice at Riverside with the bandage on his neck, still cut. Like, I'm like, yo, this thing is incredible, bro. Like, there's no reason why he shouldn't be on a D1 campus. On a, on his way to the league, but again, it's it's, it's some of them stories that sure. people don't know that we gotta we gotta bring to the forefront. Shout out to eight one four Spark, there. better days. The you movie know where Javale is. When the last time somebody um, spoke, I seen Javale. I seen Javale on on somebody page a while ago. He was you know he was right. he was down for a minute. You know what I'm saying behind the wall for yeah, a minute. Yeah. So I don't know. I hope he's home now. I, I would love to. I, I got to try to make yeah, an interview yeah. or something happen with him because people don't know. Like, you know, yes, sir. Yes, house, sir. Just like, Ls. That's family the right there. Uh, Giz, yeah, in the building. Ls, what's good, baby? Yeah. Oh, so, real quick, oh, up, bro? Let's, um, my let's just go doing? back a little bit. Um, Once again, y'all, we got my guy Tom Giz in the building. Okay. Phenomenal rapper, great actor, even better human being. Mm -hmm. um, good friend of me for a long time. Um, my guy. Your basketball history. Remember, I remember the walls in Manhattanville Center. I ain't gonna you kill us. I ain't gonna. Yeah. Um, hey. let, let's let, let's oh, go dear. back to that and give them a little history <laughs> of y y your basketball. 
All right, so first, the first team was my the Manhattanville Panthers. I tried, <laughs> I couldn't make a layup for shit. I was dumb whack, like out of everybody, like I was trash. Mm. But I was, I, I played with heart. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, we had Solo yeah. there. Solo was jawing to us. Like I, I, where Solo got Cr training from? Shout out to my bro Solo. But in the beginning, Solo was incredible. So. My first, like, it's funny. I'm I'm writing a book, and I mentioned this. Like my first goal was to be right, either better than him or at least be able to compete with him. So I followed his league, and Solo was all hard. He wasn't about no games. It was dead serious. Like so, um, I started with the Manhattanville Panthers. Got better, you know, the PALs and the housing tournaments and all that. Classic. Then I went to Minnesink, cross town, a game. Yeah, super classic. Played over there, and then for Minnesink, yeah, I went to Riverside. That's Riverside, that's Riverside that's was like right? the final destination. Yeah, bro. And let me tell you something. Like some of the Riverside practices was better than some of the best games I ever. But like some of the best basketball I've been a part of was practicing down in that basement against the best, the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember, um, I made I was on Riverside B team for my age, and in my head I'm like on the B team be like who the fuck is on the A team like cuz my B team we was wild so I'm on the A team bro you get the practice they like yo the A team is here so you know we talking shit like yo we about to bust these niggas ass let me tell you who the A team was Ellen yeah, Grant names go ahead Ron Artest Lamar Odom my oh, man Ann Glover and Eric Barkley Four out of five Back. of them went in the first round of the fucking NBA draft. This is the fucking, this is the A team. So I'm like, first of all, you know, I don't know what's, if it's well, where we from, bro, but None all of us only grew to a certain six. size. Pause. Like, bro, it was something in the water, them quarter waters and sunflowers. It was something. But to, to get the practice in Elton Brand's 6'10", Lamar Odom 6'9", Ron Artest 6'8". Right. Like, bro, where are they, where are they, these niggas ain't my age. Like, these niggas ain't the same age. <laughs> These niggas ain't the same age as me. But I'm like, yo, all right. And then, you know, E. Barkley played the one. I played the one. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me see what these niggas is about. Because, you know, you got to throw the ball up and prove it to us. Like, bro, first, that first half we played, because it was practice. That first half we played, the best basketball ever been a part. Because we, we were playing all hard. Second half, yeah, they beat us right, by like 50. I was right, like, yeah, that's why they the A team. <laughs> but this is the level of competition that I was able to play at at a young age, you know what I'm saying? And and I personally, well, I know for sure, I went to the I went to the wrong high school. Shout out to Mo Hicks, legendary coach, Brandeis, Rice High School. Mo told me after a Young World game, he put me to the side, he whispered in my ear, he said, yo, come to Rice. And those three words, bro, haunt me to this day because I didn't go. I went to All Hollows instead and played against Rice. And I, I led teams that beat his teams, but I should have went to Rice and played. But, um... So, you know, from from what, like, yeah, what we start playing, gone. like, 11, from 11 to, yeah, 11 to, like, 18, it was the, it was the Young Worlds, the City Wise, the Each One Teach yeah, One, remember, the like fucking said, Pelham Frick tournament. Yeah, we had Boys Harbor. Jun yes, L, the, the Junior Rucker on 45th, like, like, all over just going at it. And, um like, I played against, I mean, I played against the best in the city, but I just, like, like, like when I said I was going to do this interview with you, I start thinking about wild players and players that got stories that we 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 gonna we gonna try to bring to the forefront. But I definitely I definitely did my thing, and it, like I said, there's people that know me as Tom Gis that don't know the history yes. of Ant Man. Yeah, they don't know the history of Ant Man. So I'm that's, I'm 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 in the process. I'm writing I'm writing my I'm writing a nice. biography right now. I'm writing my book right now. I'm gonna put it out next year. Um, along with the movie and that whole I, I dedicate the whole beginning from from childhood up to that just talking about man basketball saved my yeah. life bro you know where we grew up you know you know what was going down there was a lot of other places we could have been doing a lot of wild shit but i i was on the course you already know um the bitty course it's y'all niggas you was probably the first you was probably the, you was probably the youngest <laughs> nigga i knew with a jump shot bro like like that ass i'm like yo nah yeah. niggas know you bring the boogie on the outside it's, it's, he's i'm like yo I'm like, yo, this nigga practice a jump shot. This wild win. Like, fuck you get a jump shot from? But you was like the nigga, first nigga, nigga I knew. I was nigga, like, nah, this nigga, nigga jump shot is cash. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the funny thing, though, if you're a shooter, there's always a spot for you on the team. 
So you might not have you might not have had the illest handle been the fastest, but niggas still got 26 at the end of the game. This nigga done hit five threes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nah, dead ass. Like niggas need to know. My nigga was the first nigga I think out of all of us with a dead ass outside. Yeah, yeah nigga was shot, outside. Though. We ain't had no gems to practice. Look, we, we, we nigga outside with a jump shot. And, Every, and real quick, <laughs> let me just give you some props, right? Because I ain't gonna lie, Man, we used to love coming to Manhattanville to play. But every time we remember, we all day remember Dolo for some reason. If we see Dolo in the gym, we might walk right out like, oh, we ain't got time for this nigga here, man. Bro. But Dolo, and he on my team, much. so I was good. Like, you, yo, we got folks. You and Lil Lennox. Say that again. We used to walk in the gym and when oh, we see y'all too. Oh, yeah, all day. We said, oh, we got some. Oh, it's going to be tough today. Y'all niggas was nice. It's going to be tough. It wasn't scared of nothing. Good look. Nah, and it was all it was all hard. No fit. Like, bro, we was bro, we was five foot nothing. And um, you know, you know how you know where we was raised and all that. Like, you can't you can't be scared, bro. I remember niggas ran us out of um <laughs> niggas ran us out of Colonial one day. Cause niggas like, yo, we got money on this game. If y'all niggas win this game, we gonna fuck y'all niggas up. We like Got in the huddle, we said, yo, we about to bust these niggas out. They right. have to show us. It showed up, nigga. <laughs> we, we, they when we chased was us young, all the way man, to the age. I, I tried to piece of these dudes. Yo, we played basketball as soon as we came outside. I tell you, we'd be outside. Remember, it was out of the... Remember, we wore three things on our feet. We wasn't even sneakerheads like that. It was chuckers, beef and broccolis, or constructions. Mm. Yo, you would be outside with a full outfit on. Jeans, T-shirt. Or a hoodie with the constructs. Next thing you know, you shooting around. Next thing you know, you playing 21. Next thing you know, you in a hard three on three or four on four with a full outfit on the constructs. We did that shit every day. You did. You got to cuff it on. You got to keep no picking belt. your joints no with belt. the nasty big. <laughs> Facts. Like that was, that was, and that was our, that was our breeding ground. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about in the, in the winter. Niggas, niggas moving, niggas kicking the snow off the court with their foot, just outside playing, man. But I, I always go back to to Mo Hicks and what he did with Young World, man. Like from 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 its inception to what it became, like that shit. That shit saved a lot of us from getting a lot of lot of trouble. Those you know summers mean? we actually had something to look forward to, like and remember at that time it wasn't no violence. Yeah, we might get a little scuffle, but we wasn't letting each other hurt each other. Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? Like, you might, like a nigga might have got shot before the game or after the game, but during the games, bro, it was always love and peace and laughs and, and good games. Cause like, yo, be like, yo, we gotta play. <laughs> nigga, get the schedule like, We gotta play the hell today. We know these niggas don't right. want they cause we, you know, we talking shit is bragging right. So it's like these niggas bust our ass last time, bro. We going right. up there, right. like we talking down the block. Like, yo, listen, bro, we not, bro. Like, yo, you got bugs. I got Ray Dogs. Right. You got and going at it. Like that it was that shit, bro. That shit was the garden for that, us, bro. That shit was the greatest, man. I I know I ain't know um gotta, he had those uh, games gotta, recorded, bro. If you got that contact foot. with Sauce. Yeah, yo, God bless to his grandfather, Mr. Keys, great, great man. Oh. Yo, he used to sit up the the left top of the bleachers by himself and record. And years ago, he was like, Yo, you know I got all wow. he got all the tapes. Bro, please, oh, no. bro, listen, when we get we off this joint, we got to talk, bro. We have to, like, act. bro, I had my greatest game. I had 44, and that was against y'all, too. I cut y'all niggas. <laughs> I had 44. Oh, like, oh, my and God. You were super nice, man. And it's like, I got to tell young, women, young men and women now, Looking, at that time, like you said, besides the Mo Hicks, we, we didn't know what we was doing. We didn't know what we could have been doing. But it's like, we love that game so much. Just imagine if we had the knowledge to say, okay, I might not be able to make it an NBA, but it might have been overseas. It may have even been a commentator, referee, a coach, assistant coach. It's, it's so many avenues with basketball that is, 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 is limitless, man. Yeah, that's a fact. I had, oh, I had I a call come in. I missed a little I bit of what to, you like, said. Say that again. These young men and women that it's... it's when you have the knowledge, is is you can go so far. And at that time, we didn't have no knowledge, like you said. Besides Mo Hicks, 
we never really had nobody that can tell us what basketball can do for us. That's a fact. It wasn't until I got to Riverside where a coach was like, yo, let this ball pay for your college tuition. I had never even thought of it like that. Like, a oh, word. All right, so let's um, let, let, let's take this thing serious. And again, the choices, the choices that we make. And I heard Hope say, yo, sometimes life get in the way, bro. You know how many, bro, it's at least 50 to 60 dudes that I know yeah. that should have went to college for free. You know? At, at, some type of skill, bro. It's 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 three hundred and fifty D one schools, three hundred and sixty D two schools. It's it, it was too much talent among us for 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 like we nobody caught up vote, outside, you know man. What I mean? I tell, it's like I tell it's, any young man, I tell all the young dudes, I be yeah. coaching the young kids. It's two things that'll kill a young man when he's young: girls and dice. If you keep that, <laughs> listen. When you're a teenager, them three dice, yo man. Once you get a hold of that. And once you get a hold of some girls, mm -hmm. that shit will steer you a whole nother direction. Your whole life. A nigga asked me how many yeah. times I played Ooh, against oh, Killer. I didn't play against Cam? Killer. He was older than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I never played against Cam. Cam was dumb nice, though. Cam was super nice and, and, and ball. He another one. Could have definitely had NBA talent. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't play against him. I, it was like it was like an age bracket thing. You know what I'm saying? So I played with all the talent my age and it kind of like grew from there. But um, from like the housing tournaments, young world, bro, that shit was, bro, I probably, yo, I remember one day, I might have went outside like one o'clock We do played it, ball hey, at like midnight. Like, like, yeah, like really, like, remember you, six, yo, yo six, mom dudes, grandma dudes, pop dudes, whoever you living with, they send you out to the store early in the morning. You know the first thing you do, you ain't even going to the store first. Let me go see who in the park. Next thing you know, that 10 minute, that 10 minute storm run turned into an hour and a half. The fact, man. So y'all had the four courts up top. We had the we had we had the bitty courts, but we never had a right, full court right. outside. It wasn't until they, they opened the center. So center, the center at like seven o'clock, I never forget. Me. I'm like, yo, you got to get there first and get on to one of the yeah. first teams and just all the way through. Yeah, like even even the center and Coach Dirk and all that, like that saved my life, bro. Cause I, it, like you know, there's a lot of places we could have been doing a lot of wild shit. But after you practice, it's play so, a game, you tired, you want to go to the crib. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's something that the kids need to see. Yeah, yeah. And like, like I, I, said, I love man, I love what you're doing, bro. I man, I'm so in love with basketball. It's crazy. And like I said, I try to tell people. Like um, Webstar had me with him at the Rucker yesterday. Yeah, shout out Web Web. I don't know where he, he reached out like, yo, I see what you're doing. I like it. Call me. So they had a a thing at the Rucker where they did the whole park over. And Dr. J. Nolan was in there. And I got it up with Homicide. And I got to chop it up with Mousy. Yeah. And I was explaining to them dudes, like, yo, I was the little kid walking like, uptown with the crates. Like, I was the little dude with the crates standing watching the game. I seen Green, God bless you. So I seen Red Autry. Bro. And I was arguing with my guys on live when they tell me about the young dudes that's nice. I'm like, yo, I seen nice. Like, I, I, this is different, I different, yeah, nice different, different quality of nice. I'm like, yo, I seen Skip the Maloon and Ali Mo kill grown men at 15 years old. Bro, Ali Mo definitely better than 85% of the two guards playing in the league when he was playing. Like, it's just no. I don't understand. Like, I, I'll never understand why, you know what I'm saying, somebody with that height, that ability, that jump shot just didn't get a shot. Bro, he came to the center one night. I played against him in the center one night, bro. Matter of fact, he threw the ball around somebody's head. The kid spent around and hit the jump shot. Everybody right. ran out. That's the first time I've ever been a part of somebody, like, niggas running out the gym like it's over. And then I went to, bro, you wasn't alone going to Rucker, bro. I went to the Rucker. Yeah, you got to be there. Game one day. You know, the Fuck. games just started like six. Or, or, dumb hot, no shade, nothing. I'm like, nah, bro, I've seen. That's from uh, Future, Master, Master oh, Raw. Don't even know who that is. That's the original. The Dribbler Machine, Master <laughs> Raw, Future, and the Predator. Another, bro, never seen nothing like it. And, and my game, see, I didn't have a, I didn't have a, a flashy. I didn't have a fifty-fifty right, 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 game. Actually, I was, it, yeah. I was more basic. Like, no, like, like, like players like Paul and Randy. 
Hold on. Them I don't know where these niggas get the training from, before bro. and one. These are the stories bro, I'm trying to get out there, This is what I'm trying to tell like you. Like we're gonna, bro, we're going to get him out there. Shout out to Red, Red, my guy. Bro, we're going to get it out there. But I played against them, played with, bro. It's a different let, bro. You know, it was, it was, it was Mook. Shout out to my bro, Mook. It was Mooka, Dolo, Paul, Randy, and my Go man, ahead. Remo. Crazy. They was on menacing. Well, Remo, that's family too. Bro. Remo is nuts. Bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro. Five is crazy. It's no beating that team for... Who bro, Mook is dumb fast. Dolo team. giving you thirty. All in... Bro, it's, it, it was a. I'm like, yo, these niggas is all on. These niggas yeah. cheating, bro. Like you gotta remember, break these niggas remember, up. Bro. Can't... Paul and Randy, <laughs> niggas, remember, little small Paul. This nigga little, the little nigga. This nigga slapping the backboard. Bro, getting up. Bro, he had the. He had. He the first one I seen do the the double pump layup. Stole that right from him. That's coming with me, bro. Good looking. I think shut up. I think Paul. I took that right from me him. We playing bro. against Uptown. Me and Dolo on the same team. Or was it me and Moot? Because remember, it was a time when me and Dolo played on the same team at Young, in Young World. We bro, I, 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 I know what you about to we say. We came Let back and won that game too. Sorry. Dolo take that, that first. Like when I was on me like two, they can say what they want. We came back and won. So shout out, you know, that's my guy Crack Dolo. It's my brother. They was killing us so much at one time, they started playing each other on the court. Right. Bro, the people, people, I was, y'all was in what the I crowd said? that they game. They started guarding each other. <laughs> Things is different, bro. Like, they they, they creativity at, Yo, at what, that what age, 15, what they was 16? doing. Four, no, we might have been 14, 15, 16. Bro. Bro. Y'all, y'all got me by like a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got I'm I'm younger, so you know, you remember young boy used to play. I'm not right. I think I'm the first one to ever play in all the divisions. Like I was right. for the younger kids and then I played all the divisions. But that that shit you talking about, bro, yeah. it was it was it was mind boggling. Like I'm like like yo, these niggas, I know they was they was they was close friends, they was like best friends. So I'm like, yo, they have to be having either conversations. Or they have to be practicing this shit before they come to the game. You had to be, yo, man. Y'all had to be there to bro. Win, like. I know, man. Yo, we man. Need, bro, people, we need yo, them tapes, bro. bro. When I be telling people the stories, like, they be looking at me like I'm bugging. And I'm like, yo, y'all got to, like, really realize, like, for us, basketball was literally life. Like, we've seen games. Like, I tell people, Danny Green played for the 76ers. He was the size in high school. He was the same size he is now in high school. He was what? So, yo, bro, look, he used to kill rice. That ass? Man, we used to go to all the games. Somewhere in Long Island. Yeah, who, who he play? What, what high school he went to? Okay, I, okay, I, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. So it wasn't Long Island. Remember, Luther, every, time rice, every time Rice played, we went to the games. And remember, he had a Danny Green, got a brother, too. I don't remember his brother's name. Yo, guess, Danny Green was 6'7". At like 16, 17, bro, with that stocky frame, bow legged. Yo, so remember, if you that big at 17, yeah. 16, my nigga, like you said in Harlem, for some reason, ain't none of us get past 5'10. We used to be at the game, like, yo, he gonna <laughs> kill us every time. Light work. So the the games, the history that we have with the sport of basketball, like people really don't, they really don't understand. A, a person be so passionate when we talk about the game. Yeah. Like, we literally lived this shit since we was like nine, ten years old. Bro, I remember my first year in 43. Um, shout out to G Dogs. A nigga Gary Saunders and Gary Saunders played for 95 and Pee Wee played for us in 43. Bro, I, I didn't make the team my seventh grade year, but right. I, I joined right. like the, the sports Hold report and shit so I can go to the game. Big G Dog or Little G Dog? Bro, I play with, when I play with Marbury. Big G Dog. Big G Dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yo. yo, him and Pee Wee went at it so crazy one night. I was like, yo, this is, this is the next level of basketball. You know what I'm saying? And then when I start getting nice and then. I started getting nice, but you know I was younger than G Dog. Right, so right. when he came and was like, "Nah, I see you, kid," you cut everything to me. Yeah. Shout out to my guy G Dogs and and little G Dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's family. But it's like, yo, even those stories. You know what I'm saying? Like G Dogs went to Georgia Tech. 
that went to Seton Hall, you know what I'm saying? Like NBA talent, but you know what I mean? For some reason, it's it's, it's some, I don't know if it's the same, yeah, even yeah, like yeah, Sham, know, like, like Sham but, God, bro. Yeah. Different level of talent, bro, you know what I'm saying? TV. Shout out to my guy, Gully TV in the building. Man. We talked about the basketball show over here, man. You're a big ball fan. But um, like yo, like like Shamgar, bro, bro. I remember one night. I think we, we was at bath. We was at the bathhouse or something. Bro, Sham, Sham got the ball from out of bounds. Yeah, crazy. And went from line to line. You ain't hit a ball bounce. The nigga was doing the in between legs. Niggas was scared. Yeah, you did look. So they, they let, let him do what he wants. Go ahead and even lay the ball up. You was not in. Bro. Bro, a problem like and 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 seeing that growing up, those is those is the influences that we had. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember um, I remember shit was a sham. Even even, but the funny shit is like the, even the style of dress. Like the nigga that come to the game with fresh kicks yeah, on you. Like, I can't, you know, yeah, remember we remember we knew who was nice. So when you on the court, you looking going, ah, oh, I got I got a long. It's about to be a long day for me. You hope you you. It's gonna be a whole. It's gonna be a man, we, super we, yo, man, long Like day, I said, bro. I, I, but, I found something that I'm in love with, dog. Like I've been in love with basketball, like forever. Nah, it's it's it's, 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 a, it's a, so it's a genuine transition. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a real place, like you was really there, like you really played, you really. You know what I'm saying you really saw some of the greats. Like I like, like I played was against. That, that was probably going into the Hall of that Fame. You played against. Who else can say that? Like. Are you kidding me? So, like, I, I try to preach to people, like, yo, man, like, let's try to support somebody that, remember, we we regular cats. We ain't got no superpowers. Like, so for one of us to make it. Super facts. Yo, man, like, like people don't feel to realize how huge that'll be. And it's like, yo, man, it's also teaching the young men and women nowadays, like, now you have, you have the information. We didn't have the information back then. And and y'all got opportunities to play like not being funny, but like now you can almost you can pay to be on an yeah, AAU like, team. Hold on. Like you I had just, to be I nice. Found, sorry, you up. I just found out that you can pay, and it's only a couple hundred dollars to go try out for like some of the like like the G League teams. Right. But but it's just going. Yeah, I knew I knew that. Saying, I heard like, about that. Now, yeah. like you can really showcase your talent. Back then, man, that shit was rough. And remember we. You playing against dudes, man, we's outside. So it wasn't, it wasn't no professionalism. Outside. It, like, yeah, you see these <laughs> kids, like fact. I said, I was at the this market. A lot of these kids is tall and athletic. But with us, mm -hmm. we was rough. Grit. Remember, we hitting that hard concrete, bouncing right back up. Nigga might swing on you. Remember, <laughs> like, might be a brawl, bro, and that like like even, even a lot of dudes with these ACL tears and all that, like bro, I, I I fractured both of my ankles, but that was that was about the extent of it. But like bro, we played on the roughest conditions oh, ever. And I don't remember nobody you ever look, blowing out a knee. Never, like you might have like, lightly tweak your ankle. Like, that that's you know I mean? once in two. Yeah, damn angle versus your ankle. Other than that, we right back outside, ready to ready ready to get to it, man. I mean. I still got the funny shit. I still yeah, I got you, newspaper you articles one. from from when I was balling in high school. Got a, I, and I got a I got an article somebody saved from like the nineteen ninety two round ball classic, and they had the leading scorers, Lamar Odom, and right under his name was my name. So a dude hit me, a dude hit me from 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 following me through music. He was like, "Yo, is your real name Thomas?" Gibson? I'm like, "Yeah." He like, "Yo, I got an article." From the round ball classic that had you in the league. I'm like, yo, send me that. Send it to I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. I'm like, yo, it's it's a whole history that people don't know. So we 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 gonna take advantage of it and put some things together to, you know what I'm saying? Like we could, do a, we could do a series, cause you know I got the got the plug with do, Amazon um, Prime. We're gonna put like something said, together, bro. Thing with me, you know me, you knew me forever. Genuine. I give props when props is due. I'm gonna shout out Webstar because he gave me an idea which I kinda had brewing anyway, but what I'm about to start doing is Every Thursday at 6 o'clock, I want to try to get somebody on to talk about the game. It could be for 15 minutes. I'm going to call it Ball Talk Thursdays. So what I try to do is every Thursday, get somebody up here. Sure. And I want, to get, I want to get the people that people have no idea about. Quick, quick fast. Come on, we all know Don Knight. I know, Chong. yeah. You know, that's big uncle. 
for the real ice is uh, Don Ice. Ice. Absolutely. Oh, right, right. People for the real ice is Brother Hank played with Chris oh, Ice back in the days. Remember, one of Ice Man's Tip Dog. Tip Dog from uptown mm. back in the days. Dumb Nice. Remember, I'm going to try to get him on there. A story with him is he was so nice. When the college recruiters came to recruit him, he went to Great Adventure that day. You know who took the spot? Mookie Black. People, oh. like, these are the stories that wow. people, like, you're look. look. You know what? You know what else is crazy? You I never knew how nice Mo Hicks was. Like I, I didn't know. This is what I'm saying. I didn't know, and I played in his tournaments. But I, I like I was seeing shooting here and there. But nigga, like yo, you know how nice Mo was back in the day. I'm yeah. like, word, and like, yeah, Mo was crazy. So it, it's a whole. I, you gotta, you gotta you know, get you know, Mo Hicks on. Shout out to AC. O's on his job two weeks ago. AC jogging the riverbank. You know he called me. He said, "Two guess who I'm with right here, Mo Hicks." I said, "Put him on the phone." So. I actually spoke to him. I'm like, Mo, I'm gonna need your help. Absolutely. I need you on this thing for about 15 minutes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. trust me, man. Just, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. You know, like I said, you know me. I'm, I'm illiterate to the. You know, I'm still learning the social media. Slash. God, you're gonna get to where you need with, to go, bro. It's just, it's just gonna take time, but but stories need to be told, bro. Like who, who, um, did you ever, did nah, you ever play AAU or you just Reese played with the Bulls? I played with Reese Pitbull. Yeah, I mean, with and Reese. then after Hell that, yeah. you know, once once the nigga got a little older, you know, I, the, the nigga started playing that CeeLo. Nigga started getting a little, you know what I mean? And the nigga, but I played, I played high school ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, and I was doing all right. I was averaging like twenty. Well, I, I went to alternative school because I got kicked out school. School. So I went to alternative school, uh, University Heights. It actually was on Bronx Community College campus. Uh, it was a Division two. Uh, yeah, so we okay. could play some all right teams. And um I played okay. my junior year and my senior year. And actually my senior year I got I got offered a partial scholarship for Bronx Community College and City College and I didn't take it. I wound up my dumb ass winds up going to Su uh, oh, yeah. uh SUNY purchase because my mind frame was yo, go away, it's cool, which that shit was only an hour away, and I wound up going out there, what up Ash? And I didn't even go play ball. Mm -hmm. You dumb, you get out there and That's you crazy. wanna keep and so it's just like you get what I'm saying, but um, yeah, the funny shit is, at least you even got that shot, right? Like, so, so coming out of high school, my senior year, nigga, I was first team all division archdiocese, the Catholic League. Now, pound for pound, this is probably the best league in the fucking country on a high school level. Um, and I had, I had, it was a coach at Stephen F. Austin in Texas. Every time I see them in the NCAA tournament. I'm like, yo, I, I be, I be kind of heated because he loved, like, he loved my game. Like, I, ha I was locked in for some reason. My fucking letters stopped coming. The communication, co my high school coach, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I that's a whole know. fucking. It's, it's, like, I had, I had, I, I remember, I remember when I played against Kobe. I tell you, I don't know if you know the, my Kobe story, bro. I'm at, I'm at Dover at a camp. I'm killing them. I got MVP. I won the one-on-one -on -one tournament. I'm killing them at the camp, bro. We at camp one day. The whole gym shifts right. from – because, you know, the camps, there's mad games going on. The whole camp shifts from one court to this to another court, right? So it's a little white kid there. I'm like, yo, why ain't everybody going to know that? He's like, yo, Kobe Bryant about to play. You know you know the Harlem in me. I'm like, who the fuck is Kobe Bryant? He was like, yo. You don't know who Kobe Bryant is? I was like, right. I'm fucking Tom and man from Harlem, nigga. You ain't know who I am. Fuck. So because I was doing my thing right. in the in the in the camp, wow. they let me play in the game. Wow. Like, bro, bro, hey, wow. bro. Like this nigga was like, rest the Kobe, greatest of legendary, course. bro, bro. He was a super nut. Like <laughs> he super nut. But he the first nigga I seen do the do the the JR Ryder. In a in a in a in a pickup game like from the middle, bro. Down the, like, down you know how nigga normally come shit. from an angle. And, bro, I was like, oh nah, I I will never forget his name. I, I didn't know who he was, but it took about eight times up and down the court. I was like, oh nah, this kid is the truth. And that's kind of when I started following like high school basketball on on like getting to know name because I ain't really care, bro. You know the attitude. I don't care what your jersey say. I don't care. Exactly. What you, you got yeah. to show me. Like you got to. Show do not. It was like, yo, and then when he went on to become who he became, my pops was like, yo, 
is that the kid you was talking about at the camp? I said, that's the kid I was talking about at the camp. Five NBA right. champ, Hall of Fame, rest in peace to Kobe. But I got to play. I got, like, like I done shared the court with some, and, and did my thing. Like, I got articles yeah. when we played against Ron Artest in high school, and I, and I killed it. Like, like, I scored more than him in, in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's, you, you, you'd be surprised who did what in, 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 in people's history and all that. So I think it's dope what you're doing. We got we to gotta bring those stories to the forefront, man. But um, what you, what you think, you know, I want to ask you, what you think right, about now, um, Here's my Chris honest Simmons, opinion. His whole They've been situation. killing me. This is what people fail to realize is deeper than basketball. Any of us that played basketball before, you're a baller if you know. You're not a baller if you never had an attitude on the court and had your mindset like, I ain't doing nothing. Then you never was a baller. Nobody can't tell me they ever wasn't on the court before and was mad at whether it was the coach, whether it was a player, whether it was an assistant, where you don't want to do nothing. Um, I think, mm -hmm. I think Philadelphia, I think the 76ers organization is, is, I think they doing a more damage than people was giving them credit for. What I mean by that is, what's wrong with him saying, I don't want to play here no more? Just let I didn't trade me. James Harden just did it. Anthony Davis just did it. Ain't nobody kill him. If my if my teammate don't respect me, if my the organization don't respect me, if my coach disrespects me, and people fully realize that be a black man, love him and all that, cool. But to me, he's not a good coach. So if you have, have oh, that. Don't rock with that. Rock with that. Nah. But if, 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 if the coach disrespect you and your play, your teammate, which is your brother, disrespect you, I don't want to be here. Let him go and let him go about his business. Now, I'm not going to say he's not totally wrong. Ben Simmons, you got to shoot. You got to shoot. Even if you miss, just take the shot. But I think um, people calling them bums, people saying he trash. Yo, man, he, listen, Ant, we know the game. Imagine him in Golden State. He's 6'10", he's going to grab the rebound and push. He's strong as an ox. He can finish at the rim strong. But before Kawhi Leonard hit that uh that bounce, we ain't had no problems. Remember, Toronto, they was going to the Eastern Conference Finals if Kawhi didn't hit that. That's a good point. Now, that was... That was for nah, the finals, think, right? Uh, that was to go to the finals. That might have been to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. That was the second round. Oh. Okay, Milwaukee. okay, yeah, you right. Toronto beat right. Milwaukee. So, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, so here go my thing, right? My my problem is, though, but they made you the number one pick. They bought in the black coach. They gave you a max salary. They bought in shooters for you. How you have a bad series, like you play shitty and then request the trade because somebody said you play shitty. So, my thing is like, as right. a ball player, you can only control what you can control. You know what I mean? You get in the minutes, you get in the opportunity, you make millions of dollars. Or like, if just imagine if all our life was all we had to do is is play basketball. Like I said, bro, you had a jump shot, fucking eleven years old. So imagine if you ain't had to do nothing else all summer, all winter, or in the off season, but practice on your fucking jump shot. Like, that's what I had to do. I didn't have a jump shot out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was to the basket with it. But eventually, you'd be like, yo, I'm five. Shit, I got to get a jump shot. I worked on my shit, and my shit got cash from working on it. So it's like, at what you take, do you take accountability? Like, all right, yeah, my coach my coach didn't didn't have my back like I want to. Yeah, my teammates might, might have talked shit, but that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the level of sensitivity we grew up with. Play shitty yeah. when we get when you get back to the block I'm like yo you know you just playing like shit yeah you, well, I, I, I'm next game I'm coming I'm gonna bust their ass or next six so I just don't like the hi right, I had a bad series somebody said somebody now I don't want to play for y'all no more I got a fucking max contract now I want you to so what's gonna happen if if he, he, he goes to Sacramento go to state that's have it back and they gonna gonna say I don't want to play for y'all either like 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 you played shitty. Like nobody we, we set you up, bro. We put we put shooters on the we put shooters on the edge for you. We got you a big man down low. You gotta hit some free throws, you gotta take a few jump shots a game. Like you say, even if you miss, you gotta take the fucking shot. That's on yeah. you, bro. Yeah, I'm I complained about nothing. A year? Yeah. yeah. 
I'm, I'm in the gym every day and something. I'm doing two days. I'm doing two a days until my shit is till I can at least hit 65, 70% of my free throws, bro. He shot. Yeah. He shot yeah. He's making a great point. Yeah. That's no, you know what I'm saying? That's on you, bro. That, and if you can't take, if, if, if your man yeah, can't do like it, like, yo, my nigga, like, <laughs> yeah, like you're bugging, bro. Like, like you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's get to work. And, 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 and I'm the type, bro, I, bro, what's how we meet outside? Before, yeah. We outside five in the morning. We yeah. shoot a yeah. thousand shots before we go in the crib. Coming back next, and I'm coming back next season to prove everybody wrong. Philly, I've been to Philly. I still, man, we go to Philly games all the time, bro. It's a yeah, rough crowd. Yeah. Like Philly don't play that shit. You, if if you put forth the the the, the effort, kind of like Derrick Rose, bro. Derrick Rose, my favorite player ever. He didn't, he didn't have a jump shot. Boy went in the gym, worked on his yeah. jump shot. Now he's yeah. the youngest You're MVP right. in yeah. NBA history. Yeah, you make you you damn you working, baby. You kind of you you brought up some things that we never discussed. And we, like, this is what I'm saying. What are we talking about here, bro? You you mad because somebody that's said something? Yeah, about you can't get around. One thing you can't get around is people talking. You ain't gonna stop that. No, so, and, and I don't know. You know, I mean, I I've been around. Every hood is basically the no, same, but don't nobody like, talk shit like a New York out. <laughs> Yeah. Or fucking oh analysts, you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I've been playing in Young World, and matter of fact, matter of fact, I've been playing in Young World, and um, what's the name? Had a Rockwaller. Damn. Who had, had the fuck rock? One of y'all sisters had a Rockwaller. Yeah. Yeah, she, she got five of them motherfuckers now. Dogs. Dogs. I'm trying to play in the game. She like, yeah, I'm gonna get my fucking dog on you, nigga. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yo, shit. I'm like, yo. Oh yeah, that's Sharif. Like, that sauce, that yeah, sauce Sharif. sister, right? Yeah, Sharif. That, no, I'm that, talking about yeah. sauce sister. Yeah, she, bro. I was great game. She like, yo, yeah. you keep because I was, I was playing against the hill. She was like, yo, keep it up, wow. keep it up. I'm, I'm gonna sick my fucking we, dog. Or we need like, from yo, my block got all the dogs, but <laughs> I, now you brought that but, to my teacher. I remember Sharif had that wild ass dog. It couldn't contain that shit. Front row, and this is, and I'm just trying to play basketball. But this is the level of shit talking and support, and how serious we took the game, man. You know what I mean? Like, shit, sitting in them bleachers just watching the game. I remember, um, you remember Craig? Remember, remember Manhattanville had Craig, um, Ali and them brother, rest in peace. Six, bro, he was he was seven foot with a jump shot. Them All Star games and Pop Lottie jump shot. Pop Lottie had the best oh, jump man. shot probably in all of them, bro. For our, for our, they remember. Pop, crazy. Left-handed, and Pop was nice. Fuck the jump shot. Yo, listen, I was in '03. Had a little bad little stint. Remember, I was on the island with Pop. Pop, Pop used to be in the yard killing niggas. So, when I say killing, two, you playing? Hell, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm tight. I'm in here, nigga. I won't play nothing. Yeah, nah. And hold on, Pop was the first nigga I seen pulling from half. <laughs> Bro, and he, Steph and, and Curry that shit, that early shit, with the and and out, that shit, that shit was cash. Oh, shit is cash. Cash money records. But it's what I'm saying. It's it's a few of y'all niggas. I used to be like, yo, how these niggas, what these niggas nah, get like jump shots? Like, yeah, niggas don't come outside like, with jump shots, bro. Even today, these young dudes, all everybody want to do is Euro step and dunk. Nobody is not shooting no jump shots. Yeah, and I told you, bro. The, the the pick and roll like I hate the pick and roll, bro. Like like I'm watching the game, bro. I'm watching the game, with my son. I'm like, yo, we are gonna count how many pick and rolls in the next five minutes, bro. It was literally like 47. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like like niggas, we know one play now. We used to have to learn. Eight, nine, Steph Curry 10 doing, plays we was doing high that. school and high you school. Running around, you. Yeah, we was doing all you that. Got to run around, go through the line, and then you flash, and then you. Yeah, we was nigga, we was running plays. You know what I wonder? Yo, why you? Why the NBA? Yo, why the niggas don't press in the NBA? Like, yo, worry about the nobody think about that. Like, I'm looking no like yo, why? Like, like nobody press. Like press is no defense. How is how is it possible for everybody to average thirty? I know, what you're but at the same time, remember <laughs> guys like me, guys what... like you, where we like really love the game, on the watch. But sometimes you watching going, mm -hmm. yo, this shit is like two K. 
shit is worse than 2K. You know what I was thinking last night, too? Like, yo, bro, it's NBA teams now. Yeah, I can't because, even name two three teams players on the teams. <laughs> like, niggas, I don't know if niggas just ain't stars or these niggas ain't staying in school long enough, but I don't know. And, you know, I used to be able to name at least three players on every NBA team, but it's like, like 90s basketball. Um, I was watching highlights the other day. Like, even the fouls was different. Like, niggas was just really... Yeah. And, and remember, that's what we grew up in. Like we you grew can hit check. You can hit a nigga with a little. Remember, you can put your you can put your forearm in a nigga back if he's trying to post you up. Yeah. You can check. Remember, you can get up in the motherfucker airspace. Yeah. You can't do none of that now. Yo, I seen plays where if the player go like this, and the the defensive man move his head back, they call an offensive foul. And when you look at the replay, that shit ain't even near his face. So the game, crazy. the game, the that what it is, is now, crazy, you know, it's bro. entertaining. It's a lot of, you know, it's, it's big business, man. You know how that shit go, man. When it's big, but I think um, they teaching the youth the wrong thing. Um, nobody's learning the uh the art of the game. Nobody's learning the analytics. Like it's just if you tall and athletic, throw them in there, and you can see. Yeah, like 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 Ben Simmons, yo. How does he, how does he get to that level and not ever be able to shoot? Like he just big. Like like he has he has God skills. I don't take that away from him, but you yeah, can't. I ain't gonna like, lie. Like yeah, worse you, you than brought, Shaq, bro. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That makes no sense. That's that's <laughs> not that's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? On on, on no level. So Doc was like, yo. Maybe I gotta get yeah. in the gym with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's saying he's but but the sensitivity levels these days is, is crazy too, bro. I remember Thurm at Riverside, bro. Thurm would be child abusing nigga. Like, you know like Thurm grabbing niggas by the neck and yeah. the, nigga, like, nigga choke you, doing all that, choke Thurm, you out but. in the middle of the game, your parents at the game and all that. Look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know who else, boo? You know who else I gotta shout out to? Nitty. Ugly nigga of my bad key on B. Like he, uh, he been doing this thing, coaching all that for years and all that. But he had that bug, like, like, yeah, like he, he should, should be coaching he should in be college. Like that. to me, like, he got, that's a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He dumb, ugly, but that's my bro. And 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 it just his love for the game and and his knowledge of the game, and he done seen it and coach. Like he, he coach. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, he he gets it. You know what I mean? And that's 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 even that's a story in itself. Like yo, bro, like. Bro, been coaching. He been coaching over 20, about, remember, 25 years. Keon besides be, playing, I be forty four. So Keon might got me beat by a year two. Keon probably been coaching since he probably was between I'm gonna say mm -hmm. fifteen. Because remember, he played a little bit, then he just found his Bro. niche and he just Bro. went full throttle with it. Yeah. He was on some player coach shit, and then he just, just went to coaching coach. and shit like that. And I'm saying that he and he had. Yeah, he had niggas ready to yeah, go. You know what I'm saying? Keon team, was coaching. Team ready to nigga, go. nigga, when we had and the team at Skrilla Hill, nigga, when S and them him had the team, nigga, Keon coached Ron or testing them niggas. Keon coached. That's good. Remember, Keon coached wet those Kiki. Remember, Word, Kiki led the crazy. nation in scoring. I think he Come on, it, Steve. It like, cat. Keon coached these niggas in the big tournaments. And he was coaching. And they was listening to him. Like, Remember, you know when a nigga could coach and when they, they can't coach and the play ain't listening. Nigga keep taking them subs in and out. Key on talking to them niggas. Key yeah. 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 Nah, bro, I played for him. Like, like he, like, not, bro, the yeah. game I had 44, he he was my coach. Like, he was like, yo, yeah. this is what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Great, 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 great street coach and should definitely be on somebody's staff and all that. I only, but the French, I don't but know. But if remember, ever, and it goes back to what we were talking about like earlier. He, when you remember when you remember it's networking and it's also who you know. When we don't have the knowledge that we can actually go do that, mm -hmm. like you said, it may not be a personal wanted nigga never pursued it because you you can never fathom in your mind I can do that. Because remember, we think you got to go to college, you got to have a diploma, you got to do this, yeah. you got to do that. So remember, with us, you yeah. know, remember we only know what we see. So remember, all we really had to look look to was Dirk and Mo Hicks. We didn't have nobody else in our corner with. Those mm -hmm. those accolades. So if they wasn't 
pulling us to the side, actually giving us the game. Who was giving us the game? Going, yo, if you go this route, you know you could do this. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like, you know, but he definitely deserved to be on somebody's staff. That's a fact. Even if even if it was one of the major AAU teams, like I I made Gauchos, but yeah. the, the travel was too far. Like Riverside was closer, and the Riverside that's, Gauchos that's games, another, that's those are the that's games. Listen, that people need to realize what me and my guy Gis is talking about. You had to be there, man. Like, like this was our NBA. Like, like it. Like you got to think about it. Your parents may go, "Hey, you want to go to a Knicks game?" Nah, so and so and them playing in the park today. I'd rather go do that. I remember I front bro. I remember, I remember I fronted on Patrick Ewing. To this day, I don't fuck with Patrick Ewing, yo. They had a they had some type of uh, shit where you could pay to go meet. I never forget this shit. My right. pops paid like ninety dollars a plate to meet Patrick Ewing, right? But I remember what this nigga had on, bro. He came in, he had on a white tee, <laughs> yo, bro. He had on a white tee and some gray windbreaker pants, but he had his white tee tucked in the windbreaker pants. And like a size 19 Ewans, right? Nigga right. had the, the, the fucking kid play flat top. But when he came in, all the kids left their parents and ran to Patrick Ewan. And I was like, okay. my pops was like, yo, right. you don't want to go meet Patrick? I was like, I'm here with you, bro. Like, right, right. more than Patrick Ewan. I hate the fucking Knicks. Like, fuck Patrick Ewan. To this day, fuck Patrick Ewan. <laughs> but like you said, like, like, I would rather go watch JaVale play against Kareem Reed. Then, then sit and have lunch with Patrick Ewan, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why, like, yo, we I'll get pay this for that footage right now. So like, people could see what we was talking about where we had our own rucker, man. Like, and then remember, Mahedville, Grant, and, and my block, the Terrace. So we all bunched up in one. So when Mahedville came to play us, y'all 100 deep. When Grant came to play us, 100 deep. So you got probably 500 people in this little ass park cramped up going crazy. And like you said, my nigga, it's dark. Niggas is niggas mm -hmm. is stealing light from the light pole. And nigga running up and down the court with the light. Nah, my dude. Y'all gotta understand. Everything. And the funniest shit is like, bro, we all went to school together. We all grew up together, but it still was like a we might have to fight these niggas. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? we we laugh about it yeah. later at Jimbo's, but for this game. My nigga don't talk to me, don't shake my head. This is sick. Like, 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 took it extremely serious. Be even th from 33, 33, it's like a, it's like a, it's a square. Oh. 33, 33, the hell, Grant, Madville. And, bro, it just in that, in that frame alone, bro, 20, should've 25 of us should have yeah. went. At least these two, like, just, just in that alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we, we literally in between Columbia and City College. Don't you know, nobody Fordham get to right go to them schools and play. All them right there, fucking ridiculous, bro. Um, fucking L I. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not too far, but L I U. Like I, I even got I got letters from like like Stony Brook, L I U, um, Stephen F. Austin, uh, Mercer. I think Mercer College because I used to go to um some of the right, um. Right. The AAU tournaments and all that. It's do it was it was, and it was smaller schools that were like yo. It don't even make no sense for us to recruit you because they just knew right. by the time right. it was time to go that I was gonna go to a big school. But like yo, some of us went to the wrong high schools. Some of us got caught in the streets. Some of us had babies young. Like when I when I graduated, because I didn't have a school, I was going right. I was gonna take a year off train and I was gonna go to prep school. And that time frame, hey, my yeah. wife got pregnant. Yeah. My whole life, my whole yeah. Life, life gets in the way sometimes, and it's you know decisions and choices. But it don't take away from the fact that we got busy, man. I remember, I remember in housing playing against Drew Hamilton. Shout out to my my bro Is, Is played and the men Is played together nice. at three. The Is was dumb nice. Is Star Andy Lennox, <sighs> like we going crazy. No, it's 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 some legendary game. Don't make you laugh. Yo, you got, yo, you got me 30, so 30, high. 30, them niggas play basketball like it was football. Them niggas get us tight. Them niggas be handing off the ball, running around. You be like, yo, where the ball at? Them <laughs> niggas is laying it up. It's like, yo, come on, man. Yo. So it, it's, it's, it's so many legendary stories, and it's just so much history, man, between all of us that people need to really understand why we are who we are, how we became who we've become. And for us,
still be here to be for me to be able to talk to you on live and um be successful young healthy men and remember success mm -hmm. has nothing to do with money you know you're taking care of your family you take care of your business you're not going crazy looking crazy so mm -hmm. be here, coming from where we come from bro yo man it's messing man bro I said it in a rap, bro. Like, like making twenty five was a dream. Making making thirty was obscene, and 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 making it don't even necessarily mean it. Just mean sure. being sound mind and body and being able to sure. get up and go to work or take care. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, people that's our age that made it, but they ain't make it. They ain't make it, bro. Like it's 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 it's, it's serious, and 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 I'm I'm grateful. And and we here and we gonna we gonna do some we gonna do some things, but we're gonna put some put some content out just to give people some history so they can understand. I mean, even um I nice. remember I met uh Pee Wee Kirkland, right? Right. I knew Pee Wee, I knew of his name from the street shit. But I didn't understand until I did my homework how nice bro he averaged on, forty-four with no three point line, bro. Bro. You averaged 40 with no three-point line? Love, Are you man. shitting me? <laughs> bro, Bro, he said, yo, yeah, was the Bulls gave him a contract for 30000 Nigga said, yo, man. I got that. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> huh? That's, that's, the, that's a yo, hall yeah. of personified, yeah. but he was nice. And when I met him, like, like again, I, right. me just right. knowing him from the street shit, I'm, you know, we get fascinated with shit. I'm like, yo, hold on. Let me do my homework, bro. He Dude. averaged 40 with no three-point line. You, are you shitting me? <laughs> yeah. Are you shitting me, bro? But yeah, though, man, like I said, man, um, great talking with you, man. I love the, the, the love and the support, man. And, um, bro, you know, I love you to death, baby. We going, like I said, we going to do some things. I love what you're doing. I'm going I'm to try to Push some 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 traffic towards your way, some ex players, and get the get them Thursday joints popping. And um, quick shout out shout out to L.A. Sunshine from your block, bro. Do you understand? L.A. Sunshine was referring in Young World, and me not even me not even knowing. I'm thinking he just a ref to grow up later to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the same L.A. Sunshine from the Treacherous Street that was in fucking Beach right. Street. That and I'm like, yo, I'm just right. I'm he just a ref of the game to me. And dumb, and I'm like, yo, that's that's love. So I remember, I remember him doing that, and I'm like, yo, he didn't have to right, do it. Right, I'm pretty oh, sure niggas yes. wasn't getting paid, but they if it was there for us to keep us, even if it was for two hours, because Sparfoot was always yeah, open, and right now was always like open, bro. Shit. Yeah, it's always open, and for them two hours, for them to get their time, their energy, their money, um. Like I said, from the spray paint shirts to redoing the Come course on. to getting there. I remember well, it wasn't no, no, yeah, no nasty, the, the nasty iron back iron joints. Super nasty, super nasty. But but it was it was somewhere for us to go, something for us to do. So um shout out to you, shout out to your platform on uh, all y'all up and coming ballers. Listen to the man, he's not lying. He actually played, was outside. First first nigga haul about though, first light skinned nigga, nigga, pretty nigga with good hair and shit with a jump shot and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But you already know how we give it up, bro. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get at you afterwards, yes. and we gonna we gonna chop it up, and try to put some things together, man. Please follow my bro page. Shout out to um, Audie Clay, Saint Vale, Better Days. The movie's out right yeah. now. I got music on really? iTunes. Shout out to Mr. Meredith, my brother, my partner. He just logged in. Uh, shout out to Gully TV. We got some things in the works over there. We we gonna do some things, man. I got a book on the way, part two of the movie. Well, I need you in this do, movie too, bro. Stop do. playing. All the yeah. they got these pretty light niggas, T sexy and all that. You know what I'm talking about? We're gonna get it in, bro. But um that's definitely basketball saved my life, bro. And and to an extent, it saved all of our lives. And um I'm grateful for the game, love the game. Say this before we go right here, bro. Now, that we need we just hit my life. You already know where I can go with that. It's all ball. This is my brother Tom Gist, man. Absolutely. man. Great guy. Like I said, better human being, love you to death, my brother, and I appreciate it. All right, yes, peace. I love you, bro. I'm going to get at you.